this is going to say only when a red particle collides with a green particle am I going to output that red particle and that green particle. If red is colliding with two green particles, it's going to output the red and the first green and the red and the second green. So just remember that's how this, this pairing works. And then this invert switch. Uh, the invert switch works in conjunction with the distance setting and it's going to output um, the particle combinations who are not within 30 units of each other. When they are within 30 units of, of each other, they're not going to be outputted. So what's going to happen is we're going to get this dead zone in the middle because they're going to be too close and so they're not going to output their pair. But any, gr any red who is um, 30 units or greater than a green, then they're both going to be outputted. It's kind of tough to tell just because um, each of these greens and each of these reds are doing their comparison and creating blue particles right in the middle of it. Uh, but this is what that invert switch does, is it actually looks at an inverse of this, uh, or an inverted condition. So if they were within 30 units uh, and we have this checked, then we don't want to output them. Okay, so that's PPAS AB. Let's take a look at the next one. All right, let's go ahead and we'll disable our shooter. Um, we're going to go ahead and create a different, a little bit different system here. We're going to create a plane and I'm just going to go ahead and use a M3D generator that we had created. Uh, any of these M3D generators, you can go to the Machine 3D website and find the latest ones. Um, so we've got this MW Born, some matter waves born. We're going to go ahead and born some particles onto this plane. We're going to born a pistol shot of 100. And let's make them red particles, and then we'll go ahead and hide this plane. Oops. And what we want to do is we want to show how we can use uh, P selection. P selection is the last of the initiators we're going to look at in this video. Let's go ahead and make their size a little bit bigger. And okay. So here we've got this first rule matter where it's born. Uh, the shooters is all disabled, so it gets ignored. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the initiator. We're going to use a P selection. And P selection um, works in a couple different ways. You can input um, particle IDs and then have access to their particle output. Or you can go ahead and just click on this add where you specify a particle ID number. And you can add them to this list. Oops, probably don't want 24 twice. And the last method you can, and we'll delete those guys. Um, and probably the easiest way is to go ahead and use the pick button. Once you hit pick, you can come out here and you can see it reads out the ID number and the group for each of these. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pick some of these larger particles. And let's pick this one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and now what it's going to do is it's only going to output the particle output for these four particles. So anything that we attach to this is only going to affect these four. Um, we can do a setup where we use a particle helper called particle data. This is going to allow us to actually look at particle parameters. Maybe we want to look at its size. And then we could, we know that we want to take his size and actually, um, now let's go ahead and increase him. So for these four particles, we need to get those particles. We take that particle output get their size information. And now we're going to do something with their size information. We're going to feed that into a float. And in this float, we're going to go ahead with added, and we're going to go negative, so it actually subtracts. Or I'm sorry, let's actually increase it. And then we're going to use a, a standard operator called particle data, which is used to set particle data. The particle data who we want to set is any of these particles coming out of here. And remember, it's, this is going to output all four of them. Uh, at once in one time sample. And what we want to set is their size, and we're going to feed this new size into there. So we've got our four particles picked, we find out their size information, we modify that size information, and then feed it back and set those particles with a new size. Um, what you have to watch out for is this is going to happen um, every time sample. So they're going to grow over time. Uh, we have to put a little check in here that says, um, let's go ahead and use particle age. So whenever those particles are born, what we're going to
going to do is we're going to go ahead and activate this rule. So this will only happen once at birth. So now you can see these particles are, these are the large ones. If we take this float and we can start to decrease it, you can see that we can modify just those particles. Um, maybe we want to have those particles be the only ones that spin. So we can go ahead and say spin and let's say decrease that. And now those are going to be the only four particles who spin. All right, TP icons animated. Huh? So P selection is a way that we can modify only specific particle IDs. Um, and we can do that either dynamically by feeding um, integers into the ID input, um, by using the add with the spinner here, or by picking them directly from the scene. Okay.